Hey everybody, what's good? Welcome to episode three of Tomathon. This video is called Everybody Needs Me. Well, so let's check out what Tom has to say. And while we do that, I'm gonna keep working on this kid's book, but before we get into it, remember to go to coconutjustice.com and get you some clothes that I think would look great on you. Let's go. Everybody Needs Me by Tom McDonald. Let's go. No, no, they're not rigging elections. We learned this last election that they're not really rigging them. They're just rigged if your person doesn't win. Uh, what else did he say? Oh, yeah, again, the pronouns and the gay people. He's got gay friends, you know. Uh, I guess if you have a black coworker, you're not racist anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that Tom is like that. Uh, I do think that some people are changing the rules so rapidly that normal folks don't understand where we're going with this. And of course, it's going to be a little uncomfortable. But again, why are you going to make things worse? Why are you going to talk shit and make things worse? Tom might have a solution, though, because he says everybody needs him. And we've been hearing that lately. We've been hearing that um, there's a lot of people that have all the solutions. So let's see if Tom is one of those people. Ozempic. Okay. Tom and his beats. I, I don't know if it's Tom that makes his beats or not. You guys let me know. But that's one thing about Tom, dude. You know that the beat is going to be straight fire. And he... <laughs> <laughs> this outfit, dude, is fucking ridiculous. He's got a middle finger coming out of the top of his head. God, that's hilarious. I don't know if I agree with you there, man. They got Diddy. <laughs> Diddy's in hot water. <laughs> But that's funny though. He's 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 talking shit about Diddy being too rich to get canceled. But Tom is out here talking his shit, rightfully so. Rightfully so. I go to Tom when I want to hear Tom talk his shit. Period. And he does make a lot of valuable, very interesting arguments. He's talking about Diddy being too rich to cancel, and and Tom is. <laughs> He's a mess. This dude is, he's cooked. He's hilarious. And Tom is sitting here in a American bathrobe and, <laughs> and Canadian chonies. <laughs> and 10 seconds ago, he had a middle finger coming out of the top of his head. He's a fucking mess. Not for anything, but that's a dope little outfit. That one right there. Has he has he broken the record for how many middle fingers in one music video? <laughs> I, I don't know if I've ever seen this many middle fingers. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Tomathon. This video is Flipathon. <laughs> How much is that carrot? That diamond is ridiculous, son. You want to talk about too, too rich to cancel? Christ almighty. And he's independent, so he doesn't have to co-sign to shit these record labels. Are st oh, boy. Tom talk your shit, man. I'm a rapper, got them crap in their pants. They having cardiac arrest like they all have the jab. 
It's weird, take a look at your history. You're yelling free Palestine. Look what happened when you freed Britney. Your children ain't gay. They've been watching too much Disney. Eminem fans praying shady will diss me. Everybody's so triggered that I just keep whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, what? Me, like Tom McDonald said. Eminem fans say what? Your children ain't gay. They've been watching too much Disney. Eminem fans praying shady will and that part, I, I went back a little too far, but that part I don't agree with. I don't, I don't think it's Disney more than kids just don't want to be picked on anymore. That's not a way to live. It feels like shit when, when people pick on you. So we have to teach people not to pick on people because otherwise we have to teach them how to fight. And then that's going to turn into a thing. And then everyone's going to show up with black eyes and all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Uh, maybe Disney is making punk ass kids. Maybe parents that are letting the TV raise their kid is also part of the problem. Kids need to be able to go outside, but now kids can't go outside because every, every time they go outside, someone's trying to fuck them or kidnap them to fuck them. You know what I mean? Like uh, there's a lot of things happening and I don't know. Eh, I guess I guess this is bringing awareness to a situation, but I don't know if blaming kids and parents for watching Disney is a complete solution. I think it might be a part of the problem, but, you know, so is social media. So is, you know, perverts. Like, kids are, are under attack, and uh, I, I think the problem is bigger than Disney. I completely missed the Eminem part. Oh, wow. That one. Oh, that Epstein list. You have to really, really wonder what is going on. How many of these high-powered people are on that Epstein's list? And I bet you the Epstein's list, well... Yeah, because he had like full on heads of state and like princes and all kinds of stuff. So I wonder if that list doesn't have way more powerful people than the Diddy list. And the Diddy list had an incredible, has an incredible, from what I'm, from what I'm understanding. I've never seen it. I've never been to a Diddy party. None of that stuff. I am too broke uh, to even, to even deliver pizza to those, to those parties. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna make me a middle finger music video. Wow, he's calling people out by name now. Again, I don't fully understand what these folks are going through, but I know for a fact that folks that are going through that will will listen to my story. And I know that they're not going to create any extra unneeded blockages for me and my wanting to be successful. Well, actually, they, they start canceling people if you don't say the right thing. So, yeah, here we are. It's a conundrum. Tom makes a good point and these other folks make a good point. We just have to figure out where the hell we're going with this thing. No, you're a racist if you're a racist. It doesn't have anything to do with being gay. There are folks out there. It doesn't matter if you're straight, if you're gay, if you're using pronouns, if you're not using pronouns, whatever, whatever. There's some folks out there that if you don't look like them, they want you to go away. That's what makes you a racist. <laughs> if you got a weenie or a vagini, God damn it, Tom, you're hilarious. Don't call me a white boy, I identify as black. My pronouns are the That's wild. You, so now I'm mad. Hey, hey. My hunters go hunting while your hunters smoking crack. I can't say the R word, so y'all are handicapped. All of my blacks, all of my blacks. <laughs> if you want to left, on the right. If you got a weenie and go the genie, they them he, she. Everybody needs me. All of my straights, all hey, of my gays, hey, all hey. of my bars who swing both ways. If you got a weenie, doc guys and pee pee, they them he, she. Everybody needs me. One doctor, one doctor. To 
He's back. <laughs> oh my god. Tom. Tom is creative in triggering people. This video cracked me up, dude. Being gay or not being gay doesn't make you racist. Being a racist makes you racist. Tom is a hot mess. I've never seen so many middle fingers. <laughs> And, and it was only three minutes, three minutes, 13 seconds long. I've never seen that many middle fingers. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it with each and every one of your friends. And if you want to come hang out with me and watch videos while I work on creative projects, hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell right next to the subscribe button. So every time I come out with something new, you'll be alerted. Don't forget to go to coconutjustice.com and get yourself some dope gear. And with that, I'm out. Coconut Justice.